is if this whole book is inspired by God, word for word, yeah. am I supposed to believe that he's 22 and 42 at the same time? So I have to use the you, there is some There is one word in that book that you don't understand. No, no. So you throw it all. No, please, please don't insult my intelligence. I understand maths. I know for a fact a man cannot be there's, 22 there's, and 42 at the same one time. Number, one number in that book yeah. that you don't understand. No, 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 no. sir. 22? I said next week, I'll, I'll study this. I'll, next week, I hope to be able to well, explain it to you. You're being so then you understand it. Okay. Can an individual be 22 years old and 42 at the same time? Because that's what the Bible says. I'm saying because of one word that you don't understand, you want to throw the whole book out. I, it's, I it's a scribal error, it's a contradiction. Now back to the point I was making. You're saying that I reject Jesus and everything he says. So please tell me. So, okay. No, 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 no. Let me the point. The first person to ever say Matthew, Mark, Luke and John wrote these accounts was a church bishop in 130 AD named Papias. Please tell me anybody before him that ever made that claim. That's why I reject it. Everybody before that. Anyone before him. Everybody, all the Christians before that knew that Matthew had written Matthew okay. and Luke had written Luke. Can you name one? Mark had written, but they all died. So, so they're not here. Okay, do we have any of the writings? But it's common. common. Do we have any of the writings? Yeah. You believe somebody wrote the Quran? Do yeah. we have any proof? No, listen. Okay. You said, you said. So I'm saying the Christians, they knew Matthew wrote Matthew, Mark wrote, okay. etc. And what's the so evidence? The evidence, it is common knowledge. What's the evidence? It is common knowledge. That's not evidence. Yeah, that is. You find no evidence that somebody else wrote Luke yeah. or Matthew. Yeah. Can, you haven't given me any evidence. No, I'm saying you have no evidence that Matthew didn't write Matthew. Okay. Can, can, okay. okay. Um, so, when Papias wrote that Matthew wrote Matthew, Nobody objected because everybody knew this is the truth. When the 26 bo 27 books were canonized by Athenaeus, the I cannot, yeah, okay. no one, no one, yeah, they just took it as it is because he said so, so they just took it as it is. Likewise with Papias. Papias made a claim, nobody dared to contradict it, nobody dared to challenge it. They just took it as it is. Nobody well, wanted to let me, let me finish it. They took it as it is. But Papias, you're saying people before that believed that. So that's what I'm asking you. Papias said that he got his information from elders. He said, Matthew wrote Matthew Luke. Wrote, he got this information from. Let, let, let me finish. He said, Matthew wrote Matthew Luke wrote Luke, John wrote John, right? He said, I got this information from elders. From, from who? Elders. elders. He said the term elders. The elders. If yeah. it is a fact that people before Papias ever believed that disciples, who they knew the names of, wrote these accounts, why did Papias not say who they were? So that was in the year 120, 130? 130 AD. 130 AD. Jesus died in the year 35, so there's 100 years yeah. in between. John probably lived till the year 60, 70. Paul, Paul also was killed in 60. So there is only 50 years in between, the next generation. Okay? In every church, elders were appointed. Those elders told Papias this. So is that too much? Yeah. 50 years yeah. Okay, so no, what I'm asking is. Who were these elders that made this claim? Those elders are the elders of the church. But who are they? Um, every church has elders. But I want, okay, I want to know, were they honest? Were they liars? Did they have good memory? Mm -hmm. So I need to know who were they? Yeah. So who were they? I've told you who they were, the elders of the church. Yeah, but saying the elders of the church, yeah. can you give me a name? Yeah. Well, uh, well, there are some names in the books of the writings of Paul and... No, but and, you, because yeah. this is what I'm saying. You see this himself in the classical history. He himself deemed Papias as unreliable. And even the scholars today deem him as unreliable. Yeah. So what I'm asking you then... So there's a 50-year gap... No, but that's not, that's not my problem. Okay. There's a 50-year gap, the elders of the church, which... Yeah. yeah, this is my problem. Every church has elders. This is my problem. So if Papias asked the elders, and it's common knowledge, then you say, I don't believe Papias, but you have no counterclaim. Did anyone claim that Papi also was wrong? Okay, one thing. Did any no? Did anyone claim that Matthew didn't write Matthew? Okay, let me respond then. Yes. Did anyone claim that John didn't write John? Nobody let did for respond. a very long time. Did they deem Papias as reliable? Did they? It's the best information you have. Did they deem him as reliable? It's the best information. You're not asking the question. Did they deem him as reliable? Yeah, I say it's the best you have. Did they deem Papias as reliable? More than you. More reliable did, than you. Did they deem Papias as a reliable source? <laughs> Sorry. Did they deem him as reliable? You say he, they didn't. 
I'm asking you, the people deem Papias as reliable? Yeah. Did they? No, no, I'm saying you don't. I'm asking you, since you have more knowledge than me, I'm a layman in this. No, no, this, this it's true that I have more knowledge than you. Okay. You've studied it. I haven't studied Just, much. You have already, you studied it with, while saying, but this can't be true. But what I'm saying while is... you say this book, Okay, but it's not written by Matthew, for example. What's your name, by the way? Chris, right? Yeah, Chris. Uh, Chris. 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 Chris, you're telling me that I'm wrong. So I'm saying, yeah. if I'm wrong, did people deem Papias as reliable? You have a man in 130 AD, just so everyone watching can understand, right? The first person to ever claim disciples wrote this account was a church bishop in 130 AD named Papias. Now I'm asking you, when Papias made this claim that the disciples wrote these accounts that you Christians go with today, did the early Christians deem him as a reliable source? The early Christians accepted his claim. Did they see? Did they think he was reliable? The early Christians accepted his claim that Matthew had written it. Okay. Because the early Christians knew Matthew had written it. Did they now, bother to test now, it? Now, two thousand years later, you and some other people come and say, "Oh, Matthew didn't write it." The majority of Christian scholars. Years the later. majority of Christian scholars agree they didn't write it. That is no, no. The majority of Christian scholars for two thousand years have agreed that Matthew wrote Matthew. No, no. Only the last. 50 years or so, some uh, non-Christian scholars have claimed no, Christian, Matthew didn't Christian write. Scholars, Christian scholars. No, no, no. Okay. They are Europeans. I They're will, not Christian. I can name them. No, but what I'm saying is... Show me that they are Christian. I'll show you. But what okay. I'm saying is... But actually, for 2,000 years, all Christians have accepted Matthew was written by Matthew. Only the last, okay. whatever, 50 so, years or so, so Chris, there has been Chris. a change because atheists have actually claimed that. It's not a Christian. Okay, Chris. So if you talk about atheist scholars, fine, follow an atheist. But don't call them Christian. Okay, Chris. A man makes a claim that these disciples wrote these accounts. He says, I got it from elders. No one knows who these elders were or anything. No, we and don't know who the elders were. No, you don't. Because Every church has elders. No, what I'm saying. In Ephesus, Chris, elders let me, were let me finish. Let me finish. In Corinth, Chris, can I finish? Chris, can I finish? They were appointed. I, Chris, I let you finish. Let so, me finish. Yeah, I let you finish. You, know, you say that we don't Chris, know. Chris, I let know. you finish. Let me finish. Now, everyone has taken what he has said, even the Christians today, without ever testing it, without analyzing it, without verifying where did he get this from. Now, you're telling me. Now, when Papias got this information, when he found out that the disciples supposedly wrote these accounts, he got it from elders. Now, I'm asking you, if that is the case, who are these elders? Do they have good memory? And are they honest? And if yeah. you can't give me a name... Did anyone at the time disagree with Papias? Anyone at all? No. no but you, 2,000 years later, you've worked out Papias so, was wrong. Yes. Because no, you can time that. travel or something. No, no, no. But at that time, nobody disagreed with Papias. So what I'm saying is to you, okay? The same with Athenaeus. When he canonized 27 books, nobody challenged it, they just took it as it is because he said so. No, 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 they didn't take it as it is because... No, you missed the You missed the presenting. Athenaeus made a statement that everybody already agreed with. This is the canon. There was disputes on the canon. There was no discussion There was disputes on the canon before. There was disputes on the canon. Now, what I'm saying with Papias, people took what Papias said without actually challenging it, without verifying it. No, they agreed with it. No. That's why they didn't what, challenge yes, it. Yes, they agreed without challenging it, without verifying, is it honest? No, they, they knew he was honest, so, so what I'm saying is, with it. What is the evidence that what Papias said is true? Other than the fact that the Christians just blindly believed it. It's, 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 it's not true because Papias said Chris, it. No, it's, Chris. it's true because everybody, the early Christians all accepted it. Chris. It has Chris. nothing to do with, well, Papias is nice, but he's not our source of information. Chris. A Christian makes a claim, right? A Christian makes a claim. After he makes a claim, a bunch of Christians blindly follow him without actually verifying it. They agree. No, no, they what, what I'm asking you they is They all this. agree. One of them actually says it. Chris, I'm asking you this. If it's true what Papi has said, I'm asking what is the evidence... You're right. What's the, what's the evidence that Papi has used? How can we verify that he is actually a reliable source? I've already told you. The same because... Okay, so because everyone agreed, that's how we can verify it. Is that what you're saying? Because nobody disagrees. So because because he makes a claim, and nobody knows where he got the claim from, the fact that no one challenged it, you're saying that the fact that nobody challenged it, that's an evidence. If, if then that means it's universally accepted. No problem. And then that you, 2,000 years later, find it difficult to accept that. No, okay, I'll address that. No problem. That's your problem. No problem. But it's not... I'll address that. First, I want to say you haven't given any evidence of Papi is reliable other than people believe what he said. I'll address that. When we look at Nestorianism, which arose in the 5th century, we look at the Ibionites from the 1st century, 
we look at Constantinople and his idea of Trinitarianism. What happened to anyone that differed on the Orthodox position of Christianity? Yeah, what happened to them? They were killed. No. They weren't killed? No, no. Hey, people that no, 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 hold on. What? What happened to the people who didn't agree with Orthodox Christianity? I must be. Okay, the answer is not that they were killed. The answer is they were not part of the official church. No, okay. no, no. What there, was, there was lots of Christians outside the official church. Like nowadays, there's a lot of Protestants, Baptists, all over the world. What happened to the Ibionites? There's no, exactly, there's Ibionites. They were killed. There's lots of Christians outside the official church. Okay, fine. Chris, okay. the Ibionites, yeah. what happened to them? What happened to them? They, a lot of them moved outside of the empire. And many of them were killed. A lot of them moved outside the empire, where they could be Ibionites as much as they wanted to. But were okay. they not killed off? Not all of them, no. But were a large portion of them not killed? I, d I don't know if any one of them was killed. You see, this but mentions I it know, in... I know a lot of Ibionites were living outside the center of power of the... Of the of, okay? So the claim that all the Christians had to conform is ridiculous. I will address the that. empire was never big enough to address Christians in Africa. Christians in Western Europe, Christians in Asia. Okay, just okay. Let, me, let me address that. The empire was only small, and okay. the Ibionites could easily okay, move let me, outside. Chris, let me address this. You see this himself in the classical history, he mentions their beliefs. He mentions that the large portion of them were killed. Likewise with Nestorianism in the first century, in fifth century, sorry. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Anyone that believes in Nestorianism, or the majority of people, were burnt at the stake for believing it. Yes, they was. I, likewise, I that likewise, all. likewise. A lot of them, lot of them left I, said, I said a large portion of them. Likewise, Consti um, Constantinople and his idea of Trinitarianism. Constantine, what happened to anyone that didn't believe in Constantine's idea of Trinitarianism? They were outside the church. But a large portion of them were killed. No. Yes, they were killed. Just a few. A large portion Just of them were killed. A no large way. portion of your own scholars and historians mentioned it. A large portion no, of them no, were no. killed. Hold on. Uh, obviously, you know. There are a lot of Aryans, the Goths became Aryans, okay, outside the empire. A lot of people in Arabia would have been Aryans outside the empire. In the empire, in the empire, were they not killed? Outside the empire. In the empire, were a large portion of them not killed? There were more people outside Chris, the empire. Chris, you're being disingenuous. In the empire, were a large portion of Christians that differed on the Orthodox position not killed? You see, there were always... And there always are a lot of Christians outside the empire. Chris, you're not answering so my question. You, I'm not asking you, about you, that. You pretend as if Christianity is controlled. I by didn't say that. Group. I'm not asking it about. Is. I'm not asking about a minority outside the no. empire. I'm asking in the empire, the large portion of Christians that differed with the Orthodox position were they or were they not killed? No. And if you differ with me, I'll start quoting your sources. Maybe a few were killed, but not a large. You portion. see, this himself mentions it in the classical history. He himself, he himself mentions it. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't accept that at all. So then why do you accept him when he calls us Papias? There has always, there has always been lots of Christians who disagree with the official teaching. But you're, you're cherry picking. No, I'm saying that you pretend as if somebody's controlling all this. Oh, Chris, you're cherry picking. We're not talking about Islam where there's a caliph who controls all okay, this. That's a whole Christianity is completely different. Chris, you are cherry there's, No, there's always been Christians in Ethiopia. There's I'm not Christians talking about that. Outside the empire. I'm talking about in the empire. There were Christians, Chris, I'm there were Christians in England before the Chris, empire. I'm right? talking about in the empire. I'm talking about in the okay. empire. But you want there to be a central control to no, Christianity. I no, I don't. I, I don't, I don't want that. What I'm saying is, Eusebius himself, you just denied what he said. So why do you accept when Eusebius says, that, Eusebius quotes Papias? as the evidence that these men wrote these yeah, accounts. I'm, so wait, Chris, let me finish, let me finish. I've said, let me finish. Papias, Chris, can I finish? Like can I finish? All the can I finish, the please? You take Eusebius when he mentions Papias. You, you say that's a, that's a um, valid evidence. Now, when Eusebius himself says that people that differed on the creed were killed off, you reject it. No, they weren't killed off. Eusebius mentions they it. They were just put outside the church. So what I'm asking, why do you accept Eusebius when he calls Papias, but then when he says that the Christians that differed with the Orthodox position were murdered, why do you, why do you dispute with him then? There may, there may have been a few why, why in, the, in the center of why power do you dispute, of the empire, why do you not... Why do you only agree with parts of what Eusebius says, but then when he says that they were killed off, you disagree with him? Because my information about who wrote the New Testament doesn't come from Papias or Eusebius. I'm talking about, so where does it come from? Where does it come from? 
this is commonly accepted. There is well, nobody. Where did it come from? There, it come from? there is nobody in the first centuries who said Matthew didn't write the book of Matthew. There's nobody so from the first century you, that said Matthew did write Matthew. You have no, no, Chris. You have no proof for your position, Chris. What I'm asking you, yes. You said that they weren't killed off. I said that your own historians, such as you see, said they were. You're saying they weren't. What is your evidence and what's your reference? I'm saying there was always lots of Christians outside the empire. So what is your evidence? Even if the empire... What's no, your evidence? Even, this, is, this is logical, historic. Chris, from who? You know where Ethiopia is. Chris, has it ever been in the empire? Chris, I'm asking you. Okay. You know, I'm asking you, you, the claim that you're making, what's the evidence and what's the reference? You claim, you claim the empire was all-powerful. Chris, I'm asking the claim that you're making. I said you see this in the classical history, he mentions this point I'm making. The point you're making, what is your evidence Eusebius was and in, what is your reference? You see this in the center of power in the empire. Chris, okay. Chris what is so, your evidence and what is your reference? So, my, it, my evidence that there was lots of Christians outside the empire. What is the evidence? Do I really need to... Yes. Do you know which empire we're talking about? You told me. The Roman Empire. Yeah. yeah. Around 300. Yeah. How big was it? It was, it was quite big. No, not, not that big anymore. It wasn't that small. It was no, quite big. The rest, it was large. The, rest, the rest of the empire was overrun by the god. It was, it was already... At that time, the empire wasn't very strong in the west. Chris. What was happening in the east? Chris, the point that you're making. Okay. Was what was, was Ethiopia in the empire? Can I respond? No. Huh? Can I respond? Because you're asking me a question, can I? The point that you're making, yeah. your scholars, your historians from the 4th century onwards have admitted in their own books, which I quote in classical history, he said they were killed off. You're saying that's not the case. I'm asking. Well, maybe, it, maybe a few. Chris, I'm but asking. The, can, the, Chris, the Ebionites. Chris, 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 can I finish? You, you know, Chris, can I, Chris, can I finish? All right. The, the Ebionites Chris, lived on outside Chris, the can I finish? Can I finish? If you're going to make a claim, if you're going to make a claim, can you give me the evidence and the reference? You Same, know, it's no, common knowledge. You know, evidence. you know what I know. The Ebionites lived on. Chris, can you give me evidence and a reference? You know that. You can do your historical research. Can you give I'm, not, I'm not presenting. I'm not presenting a paper on Ebionites here. I'm Neither am I, but I managed to quote you see okay. this classical history. Yeah. Can you give me evidence and a reference? I'm, I'm saying your claim that we can't trust the Bible flies in the face of everything early Christians believed. It flies in the face of what the Quran states. So it's fine if you don't want to believe it. Are you going to address the point or not? That's the point. You're I, out of, I, it's, it's you're nice out, to you're out of sync with everybody. There's no point having a conversation. If you won't give me, if you won't give a reference or 